do I like the game so far? I'm I'm actually really enjoying it. Um, so the thing about Valorant is that it's very very um, it's designed to be a very competitive game, right? So they they want to make it so that there's like a lot of things like in terms of mechanics and uh, both for gunplay, movement, and abilities. Um, those are all like set to be. It, it's like you you can pick it up and you can learn it and if you get really good at it like it's pretty obvious to tell like who's better that's the best way i can put it and like they care about competition which like kind of resonates with what i i like so i'm a big fan of that uh famous gamer and traffic thanks for the follow appreciate it um one thing i will say um there, there have been some things that have gotten on my nerves um for example uh I'm not sure why for the scout or uh, I'm talking in terms of Counter-Strike, but the Marshal, which is basically the scout equivalent of CSGO and the Operator, which is like the op equivalent in CSGO, um, they, they have crosshairs enabled by default. I kind of wish they would remove that because like uh, it makes it really easy to set up quick scopes, right? And I feel like that's a little too easy to do because um, what ends up happening is... All you have to do is you, you see your crosshair at all times, you just put it on them, and the moment you scope in, you just shoot, right? And that's an easy kill, because the, even with heavy armor, you will one-shot someone to the leg with this gun. So that's something that I don't like in particular, just because of the way that... There's no there's no scopes way, by the way. Um, this mouse, you know, I'm not moving it. No scopes way at all, which is perfectly fine by me. But I wish if they didn't have scopes way, then they would remove the crosshair for snipers, right? So like the moment you pull out the sniper, the crosshair disappears and you have to know where the center of your screen is. That's like a skill that I think they should, people who um, main sniper should develop in this game. But that's entirely my opinion. What's up, Lalo? Um, exclamation Lalo in the chat, by the way. How is it if you no scope um, with the Marshall? You can actually no scope pretty fast. And it's really accurate if you crouch. So yeah. Marshall, very strong. You can no scope. Um let me just go ahead and show you guys. Uh within a 10 meter range, this or 20 meter range even, if you crouch with the marshal and you no scope, like probably seven times out of ten you're gonna hit it, right? Okay, well, I hit it all 10 out of 10. Let's try 30 meters. All right, cool. So we hit it 5 out of 10 at 30 meters. At 20 meters and, like, closer, no scoping with the marshal. Honestly, not too bad. I have an idea. If you need to go for, like, a quick clutch, so you just peek out, hit your first shot, and then he's low, you just can go for a no scope if you want. Like... The scout, is, the marshal, is not a bad gun, but they need to remove the crosshair if they want to keep it this way. You're, you're free to disagree with me if you want, but I think it's too easy just to like line up your crosshair before you scope in. Like, you're playing a corner right here, for example, in Jiggle Peak, see someone's there, and you just place your crosshair where he would be when you peek, and you just scope in and take a shot. Obviously, I'm really bad at that, but like you just Jiggle Peak and then take a shot, right? And that's a kill right there. That's a kill. That's a kill. The Bulldog is kind of like the FAMAS. Um, personally, I don't think I would use it. It's a uh, burst if you scope in. And it's like full auto. And it's like good for headshots, right? But a lot of the guns in this game, they're really good for headshots. The Scepter, which is like the MP5. It's basically a pocket Phantom or a mini M4. And like, even at range, this thing is fucking, fucking accurate. Like, you can just shred with this gun, you just peek a corner, like, dead, 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 right? And if you get a headshot, that's bonus points. You kill them even faster. That's why, like, I, in this game, I think there's going to be very few eco rounds because you can, co like, constantly force buy your abilities and, like, weapons, like SMGs, and you'll be in a pretty good spot, to be honest. Like, this one, this one, um, the, what's it called? The Stinger. It's like the MP9 from CSGO. Super fast fire rate. Um, 
at range, way less controllable than the MP5 or the Scepter. But it's still, still very usable, right? And if you're like point blank range, you can literally just run a whole W. Like, I think within like 10 to 5 meters, you can literally just run at them. If you're close enough, it'll kill them really quickly. Like, you, you don't have to even stop to shoot. Like, once you're past 10 meters, like about here, it's probably better to stop and shoot. But if you're really close, with the stinger, no reason to stop. You don't have to rebuy abilities if you die with them too. Yeah, that is true. That is also another factor. As in, like, CSGO, if you die, you lose your utility names, right? Bucky, you know, it's like the Model 680. 5 to 10 meters away, you're gonna one-shot anyone. And then the right click, it does a slug shot. So, it's like Roadhog, where if you're too close and you right click, the slug will just hit the wall. It does 20 damage. But if you are just over 10 meters away... Um, right here, this is right, uh, this is left click, this is right click. It's way tighter, right? So at 10 meters away, you can hit them for a lot of damage. But if you're too close, it only does 20 damage, right? So once they're 10 meters or farther, you can really take advantage of Bucky's slug shot. One shots pretty consistently. I like the the sheriff. It's like the deagle, but I think I like the the ghost or the CZ more. This thing's like the USB. It's so it's so accurate. They're from Vienna, Austria. Wow, that's really far away. All right. Let us go into a game. I haven't played.